the Russian tank industry was completely destroyed. Ukrainian military political observer Alexander Kovalenko told how quickly the Russian Federation will be able to restore its losses in equipment, especially tanks, and how many new tanks it can produce. Kovalenko noted that there is practically no production of new tanks in Russia. The last serial T-72 and T-80 were produced in Russia in 1998. The last serial T-90 rolled off the assembly line in 2011. Since then, there has been no serial production of tanks in the Russian Federation. All modern Russian tank production is a fake in most cases. These are samples removed from conservation, storage, which are brought to a working state and modernized. That is, the tank industry in Russia now is not a production line, but a repair one, he wrote. The expert noted that this led to the degradation of the production lines of T-72 tanks. For 25 years, they, as such, were dismantled, sawn and collapsed. For example, for the production of the T-72, 15,000 technological processes are needed. Most of them have long been absent. To ensure the production of a new T-72 tank, it is necessary to use six 5,000 moulds. More than half of them are lost or melted down. In the production of one T-72 tank, about 20,000 tools are used. That is why, when they now show reports from the Russian plants, we see only tank equipment being restored after storage and not a new one created absolutely from scratch, Kovalenko said. He is sure that all this leads to the corresponding conclusion Russia will never be able to restore its potential. Russia will not be able to produce new tanks for decades, and therefore, it will not be able to restore losses during the war in Ukraine with new products. By restoring the T-54-55 and T-34, yes, never with new products, the expert added.